Today's news. Today's news. CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. I'm Matt Piper in New York. With millions expected to travel the next few days, CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky has similar advice this year that we have heard previously. Get vaccinated. Get boosted. Wear a mask in public indoor settings in areas of substantial and high-risk community transmission and take a test before you gather. Lines are long for those trying to get tested, like here in Boston. Well, it's a lot of people, but it's worth it to be honest with you, safe. So um, I don't mind the wait at all. Hopefully we don't have to do it again next year. But will we also be partying like it's 2020? New York Governor Kathy Hochul on the Times Square ball drop. Well, I'm going to encourage everybody to be smart on New Year's Eve. And, you know, this is a local decision, of course, but this is an outdoor event. I suspect it will be very bundled up. They'll want to keep a mask on to stay warm. Anyhow, if you put gloves on, there won't be a lot of human contact. So I'll work with the mayor, and he can talk to our state health department. He also has the county health department to make those decisions. The FDA has authorized the first pill that people can take at home to treat COVID. Top government experts call the Pfizer pill Paxlovid very promising. But Dr. Anthony Fauci notes it's hard to make. The very good news is that we have a product now that has about a 90% efficacy in preventing hospitalization. But the sobering news is, unfortunately, it is really a quite complicated and complex synthetic process. The pill can take six to eight months to produce. The White House says more than a quarter million doses should be ready by next month. Ten million doses are expected by late summer. Stephen Portnoy, CBS News, Washington. Millions have signed a petition to reduce the sentence of a Colorado trucker behind a deadly crash. Rogel Aguilera Medeiros was sentenced last week to 110 years in prison after being found guilty of vehicular homicide. It stems from a 2019 accident where he lost control of his truck. Four people were killed. At his sentencing, Aguilera Medeiros pleaded with the court. I'm begging for forgiveness. Today in Colorado, protesters gathered. That's why five million people have lent their voices. No more injustice. Some are asking the governor to reduce the sentence. Steve Futterman, CBS News. A jury is now off until next week in the case of Ghislaine Maxwell. They have not been able to reach a verdict. Legal analyst, Dane Rosenbaum. The jury in the Maxwell case was told by the defense that if client's name never really came up among these witnesses, the four female victims, until after Jeffrey Epstein committed suicide, that's her scapegoat defense, that she's being prosecuted as a surrogate for Epstein. Also no verdict yet in the Minnesota Kim Potter trial. The Dow gained 261, NASDAQ up 181. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I want to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cab News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.